let us find the work done in moving a particle in the field f equal to 3x minus 4y plus 2z i plus four x plus two y minus three z square z plus 2x z minus 4y square plus z k along one round of the ellipse one round of the ellipse x square by 16 plus y square by 9 equal to 1 comma z equal to 0 so we we are given force field given by f equal to 3x minus 4y plus 2z along the i component or x component 4x plus 2y minus 3z square along the uh, z component, h z component, 2xz minus 4y square plus z is k component. If we have that kind of force, what will be the work done if we take one round of the ellipse? It will be easier for us if we change the coordinate from Cartesian to parametric form. So we write equation of ellipse edge x square to 4 cos theta y equal to 3 sin theta z equal to 0 that just conveys the information that we are on the xy plane Now we need to calculate f dot dr. After all, integral is your f dot. Your integral is your. Um, oh sorry, work done is your integral of f dot dr. Of course, when we we want one complete complete round, so also theta should change from. 0 to 2 pi uh, let's write f in in term of theta 
we want f dot dr and that is your equal to 3 into your x is 4 cos theta y is 3 sin theta 3 into 4 is 12 sin theta and along the ellipse z equal to 0 so we don't have to write that again uh, x is 4 cos theta 4 into 4 will make it 16 cos theta y is 3 sin theta 3 into 2 will make it 6 sin theta and z equal to 0 plus z is 0 y square y is 3 sin theta so 9 sin square theta and z equal to 0 we need to take dot product of f with dr and what is dr we need to take dot product of f with dr and your dr is dxi dxi and dx is derivative cos theta is minus sine theta so minus 4 sine theta i plus dy j and derivative dy is d of sine theta and that is cos theta sorry dx is d of 4 cos theta that is minus 4 sine theta d theta dy is d of 3 sine theta that is 3 cos theta d theta dz is 0 ok let's take the dot product now i dot i gives us 1 3 into 4 is 12 cos theta and here we have minus 4 minus 48 cos theta into sin theta Twelve into four will give you forty-eight. Sine square theta d theta. What about j component? J into j gives you j dot j gives you one. J dot k and j dot i gives us zero. Sixteen into three forty-eight. Forty-eight cos square theta d theta plus 3 into 6 gives us 18 sin theta into cos theta d theta lastly we just need to change the angle from 0 to 2 pi or rather theta therefore work done work done equal to integral 0 to 2 pi f 
Doch und hier. That is equal to integral 0 to 2 pi. Uh, 48 sine square theta, 48 cos square theta. That will give us this 48. Minus 30 sine theta into cos theta d theta. That's equal to forty eight into two pi into minus fifteen. We can write sine two sine theta cos theta is sine two theta and sine two theta if we if we differentiate cos 2 theta, we'll have sine 2 theta. Or rather, integral of sine 2 theta is minus cos 2 theta by 2. Forty-eight into two will give us ninety-six. plus 15 by 2 cos 4 pi is cos cos 4 pi minus cos 0 equal to 96 pi 